So what exactly is the run, walk, run method? Is that really running? In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. And in this video, we are going to talk about the run, walk, run methodology to running. Now I've done two videos on this topic before and I will link them up here for your convenience and they will be linked as well in the description box. Many people wonder if you really are a runner when you run, walk, run, anything. I am here to tell you, yes you are. And there are people actually who are able to qualify for Boston run walking a marathon. So in my opinion, it's a method as good as any other to run, especially long distances. Now let's dig right into it. I'll tell you a little bit more about what it really is and how to approach the system. So what is the run, walk, run methodology? The run, walk, run method is really just a way, a strategy in which you incorporate specific intervals in which you're going to be running and specific intervals in which you're going to be walking. And you're going to be regularly switching in between running and walking. Some runners, call this the Jeff Galloway method because it's really the person, the athlete, the coach who is really the best proponent of this methodology. He's an Olympian and he did indeed run marathons using this method when he qualified for the Olympic Games. Now, do you have to use a specific ratio? Not really. You have to find the one that works for you and you are the most comfortable with. Some coaches that use this methodology will tell you to run a distance and walk a distance or run a determinate amount of time and walk a determinate amount of time. It really doesn't matter. You have to find the interval that works for you. Now, one of the biggest benefits of the run, walk, run method to me is that it reduces that intimidation factor that many new runners have towards just running, especially a long distance. This method allows you to cover more miles than really you would without walking breaks. So that's why many people utilize this on their first half marathon or on their first marathon. This method also improves your recovery. It helps you with your recovery so that you are going to have less down days after hard effort. You can run further, more distance and reduce the stress you're putting on your joints and your muscles and also reduce the fatigue on your body. So then you're gonna have less days down after that hard effort. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal methodology for those of us who are injury prone. If you're someone that gets injured somewhat often, it might be beneficial for you to look into adding this to at least some of your runs. And then finally, this might be counterintuitive, I know, especially for those who are starting to run now, but with run, walk, run method, you could actually run faster. This happened to me. I ran at the beginning of 2021 when we were all going through the pandemic and we couldn't run anything. I ran on my treadmill two back-to-back -back marathons. The videos are on this channel. I'll link them below and I'll put them up here as well. But I ran my first one exclusively running and I ran in four hours, 38 minutes, I believe. And the second one, I ran it with run, walk, intervals, running nine minutes and with intervals of one minute. So it was nine minutes running, one minute walking, and I ran that in four hours and 27 minutes. So there's something to be said for preserving your legs, preserving your muscles, and kind of not be as much fatigue accumulated on your legs as you go forward in the distance. Another factor that to me is important is that it reduces your stress mentally because you know you have something to look forward to when you're running especially a marathon or longer longer distances the accumulation of miles is just mind-blowing and if you have something to look forward to some interval in which you know you're going to be walking that spaces out everything it's like how do you eat an, ele an elephant in smaller chunks so that's the whole concept and I think it's really valuable for those of us, me included, who kind of struggle mentally during a marathon. At the same time, it keeps you focused just because you know, again, you're counting. If you decide to do two minutes running, one minute walking, you know you're counting. You, know, you have something to distract your mind that's strategic, that little something that you have to look forward to that just keeps you 
focused on something that's not the miles, the bigger picture. Now, there are different schools of thought. I personally like doing, when I incorporate this method in my long runs or in my marathons, I like doing the, the, the walk portion one minute, just because I think shorter than that, it doesn't really help me recover. Other people think 30 seconds is enough, and there's other people who do 45. So in my experience, this is something that you should experiment with. You know your body, you know what works for you. Just, you know, try different ratios so that you can find and determine which one works better for you and your body and your goals. I wanted to also ask you, what do you think about the run, walk, run methodology? Have you done it? Have you run a marathon or a half marathon using run, walk, run? And what do you think of it? Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, run fearlessly, guys.